Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Commodity TV and to the Edelmetall Messe in Munich. Yeah, Precious Metal Fair here on the Friday. And now it's my honor and pleasure to talk to E3 Lithium. And Chris Dombos, the president and CEO, is here with us. Hey, hi, how are you? Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Yeah, thanks for taking the time. It's always a pleasure to have new companies also at our TV show um, uh, through fairs, whatever. Yeah, And absolutely. Lithium is hot because we know Lithium we really need a lot yes, in the future for all those batteries and uh, the e-mobility, but it's a bit of an irony because you are in Alberta, what you just told me, yep. and you are coming out of oil and gas. So from the bad fossils, <laughs> yeah. you are turning into lithium. Yeah. So what's your company about? What are you doing? Please give us a short overview. Yeah, absolutely. So E3 Lithium is a lithium development company. We've been uh, public for about five years now, developing a pretty big asset in the province of Alberta. It's 24 million tons of lithium carbon equivalent, or LCE. We started out developing this technology to direct extract lithium. In, those, in the space you hear DLE, or direct lithium extraction, we develop a process that's ion exchange, enables us to do the same thing, um, we've been working on it for five years, we're about to commercialize it. It is really the key to unlocking this massive opportunity that Alberta has. Alberta is the largest lithium resources on the planet. If you add them all up, 48 million tons in the province under compliant resources. So it's a huge opportunity for, for companies like E3. Okay, super. So let's go a bit more in Metas Race. What does um, your project look like? What statues you are? Uh, what, you said already 24 million tons yep. is a resource. So pilot plant, feasibility, yep. pre-feasibility, what's going on? Yeah, so we, uh, when we are in commercial operations, we'll operate like an oil and gas company, meaning that we pull this fluid from a deep aquifer. This aquifer that we were working on was discovered in the 40s by Exxon Imperial Oil. Um, we now have the mineral rights to it and we are extracting brines instead of oil and taking the lithium out of the brines. But operationally, we operate just like oil and gas, which is a huge benefit because we also are regulated by the same regulator. So we have a 60 year um, regulatory regime that's well established, very mature. That's going to help us get to that commercial end goal. Where the company's at today is that we're on the cusp of piloting our technology that we developed. And it's the last piece that we require to de-risk this whole project. Um, so we're we hope to operate that sometime this summer. We're just in the final stages of that development now. And after that, um, we go into pre-feasibility study, which we hope to have out this time next year. So the next 12 months, especially the next three and six months, are going to be pretty important and pretty massive for the company and our development. Okay, super. So have you done already any tests uh, for, about the purity of the LCE you could produce, or what do you see you might produce then? The 99.5% is a critical mark. Yeah, so we have, it, there's sort of two pieces to it. Um, what we produce out of our tech is a lithium sulfate, and we can produce it at 60%, mm -hmm. roughly, pure lithium. Uh, then it goes through a polishing step or a cleanup to get it up to 99.5, which, as you mentioned, is the battery grade. Um, we've done it in the lab, and so that next step is going to happen also in the new year. One of the benefits to making this project produce more fluid, so basically as the pilot gets going, we have the ability to have more of the sulfate I mentioned that we can produce into hydroxide. So we've done it in small scale, but the next couple of months you're going to see us produce a lot more of that. And that's going to be, enable us to go to commercial size testing. So you're going to see us demonstrate a better quality product at a meaningful scale, more than just benchtop. Okay, super. So what will that cost? Meaning, what is the financial situation of the company? Yep. Um, how do you get to those next steps? Uh, commercial, for sure, that's a big project finance. Yep. But how do you make it until there? So in the short term, we have $15 million in the bank right now. Um, we've got um, a, a lot of support from the federal government and the provincial government for funding. Um, we're hoping to see some of that in the nearest term. Um, so we're pretty well funded uh, to get us through these next stages, the pilot plant's going to cost five of that. We just finished drilling wells. They were about six million. So we have good capital uh, in the bank. We have a good uh, long runway to get through the next, say, 12 to 18 months and get some critical hurdles uh, underway and, and checked off, like the pilot plant being the biggest, okay. but also some of these production milestones and some corporate milestones. And looking at the project finance world, how we're going to fund the plant, we have a, a three-pronged strategy one is that the banks are telling us that they will give us um, a leverage that's about 60% leverage um, with debt if we have long-term offtake agreements. So the company is out right now in discussions to find those long-term offtake long offtake agreements. 
um, and that will hopefully help us also support the construction capital. We're seeing companies like Ford gave Liontown 300 million in secured credit to build their facility. The, the, those big companies that are building either the cars or the batteries are supporting companies like us to get the critical minerals out. Um, so we're, we're obviously in the market for that type of financing as well so that we can afford to build this plant which is going to cost about 600 million US dollars. So the strategy is very strong. I think we're going to see um, this type of thing come in. Even the federal government has allocated a billion dollars in Canada to infrastructure funding for projects like ours that, that allocates out in 2024. Okay. And we're hoping to be, you would be building in 2025 to 2026 in that range. So there might be some funds from the federal government in Canada and even the US federal government to help support this. So the, I've never seen it like this where there's so much availability of capital coming into this from all angles, the banks, the, the government, yeah. the markets, just because yeah, this, everybody sees the need. It, the need is huge <laughs> yeah. and it's not going anywhere. It's only getting yeah, worse. So super. every project like ours needs to get underway and the governments know that. So they're, they're backing them. Okay, fantastic. Um, who are large shareholders? What institutions do you have in? What is management share? So uh, management holds about 15%. 15. 15% oh, nice. management and, uh, and associates and that sort of thing. People have founded the company. Um, we have about uh, 15 million shares held by institutions um, on, and a variety, each holding about um, a million or so, a million and a half shares. So there's um, there's eight or nine of those institutions in the stock. Um, we're seeing more and more institution participation as we, in which is typical, as we mature the company, as we get closer to production, mm -hmm. um, we're seeing more of those come in. Um, but we still have a strong retail following and, and um, good share performance. Okay, super. And you said 15 million is cash in the bank. 15 million cash in bank, yeah. Okay, super. Perfect. Excellent. Then I wish you all the best for that. Thank uh, you very much. Keep it going because the world needs lithium. Yeah, we're, we're here to get it going, so 100%. <laughs> super. Thank you very yeah. much, Chris. Thank you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Chris Stoneboss, the president and CEO of E3 Lithium. Yeah, you heard it. A really interesting, but also really a big project. 24 million tons LCE is the resource so far. And there are 15 million in the bank. They are on the way yeah, to build up a larger pilot plant. And uh, for the big plants probably 600 million dollar is needed but as you heard the support of Alberta of the government of the region is really enormous and yeah that's exactly what we hear and what we see also from various other places in the world that is fantastic because we need many many more and much much more commodities to really turn this world from here from a co2 emissions to see a net zero and uh, yeah lithium will make its way and e3 lithium hopefully too so check out the company thanks for watching us and bye bye from Munich from Edelmetallmesse.